This week, it became official. The big merger between Halliburton and Baker Hughes was called off. But don't cry for Baker Hughes. They got a lovely parting gift in the form of a $3.5 billion check. Uh, Boy, as breakup fees go, Jason, (laughs) that is phenomenal for them. And yet, both stocks down this week. I I get why Halliburton is down, because they've got to write a big check. Is Baker Hughes down because people are looking at this company and thinking they are just in a much more troubled state than Halliburton? Well, I think it brings uh, more uncertainty into the picture, which uh, we we know how the market reacts to uncertainty. Uh, A couple of things here. Halliburton's going to be just fine. Um, They have the financials to bear this, though it does bring into question, I think, leadership. You have to kind of wonder. I mean, did they maybe. Were they, were they entering this transaction perhaps a little overconfident, a little cocky? I don't know. I think it could be probably argued that you could at least ask that question. If we go back in time, <laughs> we find someone at Halliburton management saying, oh, yeah, go ahead, add in a $3.5 billion break. This thing's a lock. Yeah. This thing's going through, no problem. That's that's uh, that's something worth at least looking into. I mean, there's a lot of money that seems to be wasted in this industry. Um, for Baker Hughes, again, it brings some more uncertainty into the picture for them because there are a number of different uh, sort of strategic initiatives they need to sort of examine with the business, particularly now that they're not going to be a part of something bigger. Uh, but the interesting thing I think here, and, and actually, we talk a lot about share buybacks and really how so many companies do such a poor job at them. This is an interesting situation though, because Baker Hughes management is talking about wanting to return value to shareholders. And and with Baker Hughes, this is some found money, really, isn't it? I mean, this is money that they didn't have to do anything for, and and they talked about using some of this cash to buy back shares. In this case, I think this could work out pretty well because most energy stocks, and Baker Hughes is no exception, are, are in the tank right now. And, and well, you want to buy back those shares when the market is really taking you to the shed. And and so it could be argued that they are are buying these shares back at an opportunistic time. They have the financial resources to bear this, uh, you know, to bear the storm. And I think uh, when all things are said and done, uh, this could be actually a nice little opportunity for Baker Hughes shareholders if they can hang on. Uh, in terms of Halliburton's case, I think if you ask Paul or us on the MDP team, uh, we, we wanted to see this merger go through, because uh, I think it created a lot of competitive advantages uh, for both companies, or as a combined company. At the same time, though, anytime I see uh, you know a, a big acquisition or merger kind of unfold, and the company's allowed to be separate, generally, I'm, I don't feel too bad about that, because I think, especially when it's a big, big one like this, these acquisitions don't Often create a lot of value down the road, and companies are usually over time better off staying uh, standalone. So, do you, do you expect Halliburton to go shopping for a a smaller acquisition? Obviously, this was a much bigger one with Baker Hughes. But do you think that they're sort of itching to buy something? I think so. I mean, if you if you saw the conference call that Halliburton did, it, it's remarkable that essentially every every oil and gas service company is losing money now, and so you can imagine. How that affects a company like Halliburton or Baker Hughes or, or Chamblee, but imagine how it's hap- what's happening to the smaller players who don't have the great, who don't have as many competitive advantages or the balance sheets. So, I think there's going to be room for Halliburton to probably make some smaller acquisitions, especially during this still negative period in the cycle. Yeah, I think this is probably a deal that was more important for Baker Hughes than it was for Halliburton. I think Baker Hughes really needed Halliburton more than the other way around. But at the end of the day, they'll both still be okay.